In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use GitHub Actions to run automated tests. This is what the final result will look like when you make a pull request. GitHub Actions will run all the tests, and if all the tests successfully pass, then you will be able to merge the pull request. However, if any of the tests fail, then you will not be able to merge the pull request. To get started, open the GitHub repo where you want to add GitHub Actions to. For this tutorial, I'll be using this GitHub repo and it has a very simple test where right now it just tests if two numbers add up to expected value. But you can repeat these exact same steps for any repo that you have with any existing test. Once you have your repo open, go to the root directory and create a folder called .github and within the GitHub folder, create another folder called workflows. Then inside the workflows folder, create a YAML file and you can name it whatever you want. I'll just name this test.yaml for right now and hit enter. Now I will paste the code that GitHub Actions will use to run automated tests whenever we create a pull request. I will leave a link in the description and in the comments with this exact code so that you can copy it and just paste it into your own YAML file. To explain the code, starting on line one, this is just the name of the GitHub Action. We can call this whatever we want. I just did run test for right now. Starting on line three, we're specifying that every time we create a pull request on any of the branches inside this array, we will run the GitHub action. In this case, I'm only running the GitHub action on the master branch. On line 11, we're just specifying the operating system for this GitHub action to run on. Right now, I just set it to Ubuntu. Starting on line 13, we're going to run a couple different steps. The first step, we'll just get a copy of the code. The second step, we'll just set up node and we're specifying the exact node version. The next step after that is to install dependencies. And for the final step, we're just gonna run the command npm test to run all of our tests. One last thing before we push these changes to our GitHub repo is just to test our code. So I'll run npm test and you can see here all my tests are passing. So now I'll commit all my changes to my GitHub repo. Switching back to our GitHub repo, if we click on the actions tab now, we should now see the GitHub action that we just created. I named mine run test, so that's what's displayed here. But if you had something different, then you should see it right here. Now we can create a pull request and we should see the GitHub action run before we can successfully merge the code. Before we can create a pull request, we just need to go back to our GitHub repo and create another branch with some small changes. I will create a new branch using VS Code, but you can do it however you'd like. But I'll just name this branch like tutorial and I'll just go to the readme and just add the word tutorial to it. Then I'll just push it to GitHub. Once the branch has been pushed, we can go back to GitHub and click on the pull request tab. Then click on new pull request and select the branch that we just made. So I just named mine tutorial and click this button and click the create pull request button again. We should now see the GitHub action is running and we just have to wait for the test to complete before we can successfully merge it. The tests have all successfully passed and we're now able to merge our pull request. If we click this button, we can see more details about it, but this lets us know that all of our tests successfully passed. And if I wanted to, I could now merge my pull request. But now I will show you what happens if your test fails. Going back to my code, I will now modify my test so that it now fails. And I'll push these changes to GitHub now. Going back to GitHub. We can now see that our tests are running again and we just have to wait for the result. The tests are done running and you can see that the checks have failed because I purposely broke the test. However, if you notice, you can still merge a pull request, but if you want to change the behavior, we can just go to settings and then click on branches. Click on add branch protection rule. Here you can specify the branch that you want to apply this branch protection rule to. I'll just do master because that's the branch that I'm working on in this case. Then click on this checkbox that says require status checks to pass before merging. Inside the search bar, just search for test and click on this. Then scroll all the way to the bottom and hit create. If we go back to the previous pull request and refresh the page, we can now see we can't merge a pull request unless we click the checkbox that bypasses branch protection. That is the end of this GitHub Actions tutorial. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.